On a visit to the Baltics, Pence denounced Russia as an unpredictable neighbor that sought to redraw international borders by force. Pence's intervention, on a visit to the Estonian capital of Tallinn, came a day after President Vladimir Putin announced he would gut U.S. missions in the country. That decision came after U.S. Congress passed a bill last week to slap fresh sanctions on Russia over its 2016 U.S. election meddling. Any prospect of a reset of U.S.-Russian relations, previously advocated by both Putin and U.S. President Donald Trump, now appears slim. At this very moment, Russia continues to seek to redraw international borders by force, undermine democracy in sovereign nations, and divide the free nations of Europe, one against another, Pence said at a press conference, alluding to the Russian annexation of Crimea. Under President Donald Trump, the United States of America rejects any attempt to use force, threats, intimidation, or malign influence in the Baltic states or against any of our treaty allies. Speaking alongside presidents of Estonia, Lithuania, and Latvia, Pence sought to assure Baltic leaders that the U.S. would not be intimidated by Putin's announcement Sunday that U.S. missions would be stripped of 755 staff members and two properties. There are around 1,200 staff members working at these missions, though it is not clear how many are U.S. citizens. To be clear, we hope for better days, for better relations with Russia, but recent diplomatic action taken by Moscow will not deter the commitment of the United States of America to our security, the security of our allies, and the security of freedom-loving nations around the world, he said. Putin is seeking to reduce the number of staff members at U.S. missions in Russia to 455, a figure equal to the number of Russian diplomats now in the United States, the Russian Foreign Ministry said earlier, giving a deadline of September 1 for the cuts. Putin's decision to cut staff members was also a delayed retaliation to sanctions imposed at the end of Barack Obama's presidency in 2016, when the U.S. expelled 35 Russian diplomats from the country and seized two compounds used by Russian missions. Those actions were in response to Russia's election meddling, as well as its continued military aggression in Ukraine. When asked if there was a way out of the political impasse, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said there needed to be the political will to restore relations and call for the sanctions against Russia to end. But Peskov also said that Putin and Moscow were interested in cooperating with the U.S. where it fits our interests, 